morning everyone it's jelani the morning scripture came from first corinthians chapter 4 verse 20 and luke chapter 10 verses 19 to 21 let us pray heavenly father in the name of our lord jesus christ we come to you to give you thanks this morning we thank you for life for breath for food for shelter for everything that you have blessed us with in this life dear lord and because you have been so faithful to us, I just pray that um, you continue with us to do all the things that you want us to do according to your will. I pray that you continue to keep our minds focused and keep us faithful in serving you. I pray that we do not lose faith, nor stumble, nor fall, nor be overcome by this world, but that we patiently endure right to the end. To the glory of our na your name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. So the morning scriptures came from First Corinthians chapter four, verse twenty, which says, "For the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but in power." And Luke ten nineteen says, "Behold, I have given unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy." And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names are written in heaven. So, it's talking about power here this morning. Um, the kingdom of God does not consist of talk, but power. Right? There's a saying in Jamaica, say, like, you chat, you chat too much kind of thing. <laughs> um, all chat and no action, innit? So we know that the Lord is God Almighty and he has all power. And he's so gracious unto us as believers that he actually gives us power by his Holy Spirit, right? So when we do say things, we need to believe that they're going to come to pass. We can't... Um, just say something and then just not believe and expect it to, to happen, right? We have to believe that the Lord has equipped us with the power and the might to do all that he has tasked us to do in this life. And as I said, that's by the power of the Holy Spirit. Even Jesus Christ in Luke, he, he showed you there, he gave us power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Yes, this might be physical and spiritual, right? And over all the powers of the enemy. Likewise, it's going to be spiritual and physical. And when I say, we say power over enemies, it's not talking, um, in the physical, it's not talking to go and harm people or go fight them, etc. It's, it's talking about the power to overcome them by love, right? And um, it said, nothing by any means shall hurt you, Um yeah we're talking about the hurt unto the unto death like death death right nothing going to really overcome us in this life yes we might be persecuted yes we might be put to death naturally but spiritually we shall overcome all things because of the power that the lord has given us right so it's telling you not to rejoice that we have power over spirits because even one scripture um, tells us that he gives us power to cast out demons, to do all of these wonders and signs, the signs that will follow those who believe. But he said, don't rejoice and get puffed up that you, you, you have power over these, these um, entities, right? And these things. What we need to rejoice in is that our name is written in the book of life, in the book written in heaven, right? So, yeah, just this morning, um, just pray out, just, um, yeah, I'll pray out. Heavenly Father, um, as is always, we just thank you for the words of encouragement that you give us each and every morning. I pray that everything that was said was said in spirit and in truth. Dear Lord, we do pray that we do operate in your power. We're not just talking, but we just operate in power in belief that you are who you are and that you have given us and put all things in subjection because everything is in subjection to you dear lord so keep us strong by the power of your holy spirit and i pray that each and every person that is listening to this may be equipped to better serve you 
in fullness, in power, in might, being led by the Holy Spirit in all things. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See you. See you tomorrow.